why your snoozing is doing you no favors. So does it happen whereby your alarm goes off and you hit snooze? It probably lasts you nine minutes or so, right? Nine minutes. And then you go to sleep, wake up again, and then you hit snooze again. And you wake up in another nine minutes if you're on an iPhone. I uh, don't know what the time is on an Android. But um, what happens is you tend to snooze for a couple of times and you wake up and yes, you're smug of the fact that you got more sleep in, but you feel crap. You don't feel right. You don't feel awake after your snooze. So I'm here to ask you to change that. I'm here to tell you why your snoozing is doing you no favors. So if you look at the sleeping cycles that you have, when you go to sleep, it's not just one continuous, you close your eyes, you wake up seven, eight hours later, and you're done. What happens with your sleep is you're actually sleeping in cycles, and these cycles are roughly 20 to 30 minutes long, and they're of varying quality, okay? You, you've heard of REM sleep, rapid eye movement, and you basically go through cycles of different stages and levels of sleep, and during these cycles, different things happen within your body uh, in terms of restoration, reparation, and things like, you know, stuff with your memories, long and short term memories. A lot of things are going on when you're asleep, when you're giving your body that chance to recover. However, what happens if you're sleeping and you're halfway through one of these 20 to 30 minute cycles and you wake up in the middle of it? What's going on? Your body hasn't completed that cycle. And therefore, when your snooze button goes off, and you have woken up normally, but then you give yourself more time via you know, that snooze button, you're then going to sleep for maybe nine minutes and you're then waking up again within that cycle, within that sleep cycle, because your body went back to sleep expecting another 20, 30 minutes, but then you're actually waking it up again in nine minutes. So you're about a third of the way through another cycle but then you feel crappy because of that, okay? Because of you snoozing, you're doing yourself no favors and it's upsetting the, the cycles that you have in terms of your sleep and in terms of the repair and recovery that can occur when you are asleep. So my tip for improving your sleep so that you don't hold yourself back by literally pressing that button is look back on average at how long you snooze for. Is it twice? Is it three times? Is it four times? You know how many times you hit that snooze button. And if you want to improve the way you feel once you do get up, what about if you were to reset your alarm but for the period of time that you would have normally snoozed for. So say you normally snooze three times, so that's about 30 minutes. How about resetting your alarm so that it's gonna wake you up 30 minutes later than it usually does? And then when that alarm goes off, you get out of bed because otherwise you're gonna be late, right? Because normally what happens is you go to sleep at seven, you then snooze till half past seven, and then you really do have to get up to go and get on with your stuff. But what happens at half past seven is you're still getting everything that you need to do done first thing in the morning. So why not set your alarm at half seven instead of seven? Don't have those snoozers because they're crap in terms of for your sleep. Wake up at half past seven and then hopefully you should feel a lot more refreshed. You should feel a lot more energetic. You should feel a lot more awake than you waking yourself up a third or a quarter or a two thirds of the way through um, some sleep cycle that you reset every time you hit the snooze button. So give that a go. Let me know how it goes for you. But that is my tip for helping you to stop holding yourself back to um, quit doing yourself no favors by constantly hitting that snooze button 
and then crawling, dragging yourself out of bed and then the rest of the day kind of following along in that sentiment. As opposed to, yes, I understand that not everyone is an early bird, but to help you improve the quality of sleep that you do have, try this tip. Set your alarm for the amount of time that you would normally snooze later. So if you snooze for about half an hour in totality, set your alarm for half an hour later instead. Don't have those snoozes and see how it changes the way you feel.